Hello, Anteater fans. Michael O'Sullivan alongside Jeff Perkins, head coach of the UC Irvine men's and women's cross country team. Going into your second year now officially at the helm, coach. And we roll out another schedule release special, and then these seasons are just <laughs> rapidly approaching. Right. And for you guys, September 5th, it'll all get going here at the Ark right. as you'll get that Adidas UC Irvine Invitational. So nice to always open things up on campus. Yeah, it's always nice to kind of get our feet wet uh, early at home with something that we're for the most part familiar with right. the uh, returning athletes. So it's uh, very low key. We have a couple of, uh, you know, we have Long Beach State coming and USC coming. So it'll be a good meet for us to kind of see where we're at that point in time. And most of the kids are just rounding into shape at that point. So uh, it gives us a good idea of where we stand as a team and what we need to work on. Yeah, you get the feet wet here, you get a couple weeks, and then you'll stay local, Santa Clarita, so you just go to the Valley for that Mustang Challenge. Right. And that'll roll into, I know, a very big meet on September 26th, the end of the month, you head to NorCal for that Stanford invite. Right. Stanford Invitational, as always, has always been a big meet over the years, and it just seems to grow every year to get right. bigger and have a lot more national caliber teams there. So um, that should be where we're starting to round into our peak physical uh, fitness and getting to a point where we can kind of see some teams that we don't normally see and, and to be challenged by um, some national caliber teams to see you know where we stand up at that point. Yeah you get a lot of cream of the crop yeah. there at Stanford and then you know such a short season for yeah. you guys then you get it's another cross. little break till mid-October yep. and you get that Highlander Invitational mm -hmm. in Riverside, and that'll also be the site of the Big West Championship. Right. So I know that's a big one for your team also. Yeah, yeah, to get familiar with that course and be familiar with that course year in and year out is important for us because it gives us the ability to be prepared and ready for the conference championship and to fully be you know, familiar with the surroundings and uh, you know where the mile markers are on that course and right. to really go for it as a team at that point in time for the Big West Championship. Yeah, and you know, speaking of Riverside, the Big West Championships, looking at the conference in general, what are you expecting this year? Uh, Santa Barbara will be good again. I mean, they've, they've perennially put together some pretty good teams on the men's side and as well as on the women's side, but uh, Cal Poly is a team that really kind of stands out. I mean, they yeah. year in and year out have uh, really put a lot of their resources into the distance area and, and have done perennially, uh, sorry, annually very well. Um, with their outcome uh, as they move into the Big West and championship season. So we expect a lot out of them. But, you know, with our team and who we have coming back and some of the newbies that we have on the team, uh, we're looking forward to kind of getting in there and disturbing a lot of what they're usually about. Yeah, you mentioned your teams on the men's and women's side. Yeah. I know there's a big overhaul for right. you, so a lot of fresh faces. And right. again, it's such a short season, so you really got to hit the ground running, <laughs> no right. pun intended. Right. But on the men's side first, who are you banking on big years out of? Uh, Isaiah Thompson, his first name that comes to mind, obviously, he's one that's always been, uh, you know, one of the better athletes we've had in both cross and track, and he's very focused and right. driven, and uh, he's a kid that I know will really stand out for our team. And then we have three junior college transfers coming in, which will add to the maturity of our team, which we're looking forward to, and then a whole slew of uh, young young athletes on the freshman side. Brennan Randall was a top uh, 15 uh, state finalist uh, in cross country, so he's coming as a freshman. We expect a big year out of him, yeah. and just the team in general, uh, with just being so new the dynamic has to be where they have to have that chemistry early and to build on that to have success yeah a lot of younger guys which yeah. makes the future look bright certainly right. but they'll be they'll be tested out of the gate and then on the women's side who are you looking for big years at uh, we signed one of the top uh, distance runners in the state of California and Lisa Vasquez so we're really looking forward to uh, seeing what she brings to the table she's from Warren High School um, has done a tremendous job in both cross and track this last year her senior year in high school so uh, we add some depth in uh, Brooke Dorsey and some others coming back, Courtney Sherrar and some of those ones that we've had uh, as a team in the past. But uh, Brooke Dorsey is a JC transfer. Um, she comes from Saddleback College via Oregon. Um, so we're really looking wow. forward to kind of seeing what she brings and what the team kind of, uh, you know, with them being as young as they are as well, kind of seeing how quickly they can mold and gel together and, and get it going. Right, a lot of fresh faces, but yeah. some good returners as you mentioned. And I'll get going a couple weeks here. UCI Arc Fields, that's where it'll take place, the Adidas UC Irvine Invitational. Come out and support the cross-country teams. Coach, thanks so much. Good luck this year. Thank you very much. See you next time, Anteater fans.